currently we have two. We have our prize and then this, this one here, which we've bought. And they're both exactly the same. So yeah, they're both beasts. Uh, well, you know, standard, very standard. We had uh, it's out of frame, but a, a decrepit kind of overhead projector, which, uh, you know, it was a good overhead projector, but it was a projector and um, a, a pull down screen, which we would project onto. Uh, behind the screen, there's a there's a still a whiteboard, yeah, and then, um, you know, just standard PCs and computers, and you know, very traditional. I feel really well supported. There's a bunch of YouTube stuff, um, which I can work through at my own time. Um, and they're, they're pumped. They're, those videos are always updating. Uh, but you know, look, personally, uh, we've had two days of training um, all day. Yeah, from straight from Promethean, they came and we did workshops and it was Chelsea, she was awesome, taught us heaps of stuff, really good. Um, they've been, look, how do I put it? It's almost like you're, you're relearning how to teach, um, it, but in a good way, you, because you, you've got to remember that it's, it, you're not just writing on a board and hoping people take notes. Um, all of a sudden I can really show people inside my camera, yeah? Or, or the fact that we used to use a bunch of cool kind of web apps and things like that that would demonstrate shutter speeds and apertures and things like that. Um, but now it's there, there, we can do that as a group, you know what I mean? Where there's not 30 different people playing with 30 different web apps. I think it's, I think it's on the up and up, to be honest. Um, we used to have these discussions. I put a photo up on the overhead and everyone's sort of, you know, making an allowance for the overhead. So, you know, like it doesn't quite look as bright as it should. So everyone's brains are sort of calibrating that way. And then when you ask the room, what can we do to improve the photo? Someone might put their hand up and make a suggestion. That's different now. So when I say, when I put a photo up on the Promethean, if we've got the laptop plugged in, um, and it's all, you know, sort of tethered and, and going. Um, when I say, what can we do to improve the photo? More often than not, the student is out of their chair coming up and grabbing onto the tools in Photoshop and making the difference. So it's very, heaps more tactile, more touchy. Uh, the airplay, I um, mean, the, what, not airplay, but it's, using that similar technology. The Active Connect, probably my favorite feature. Uh, the students come in, you know, they're scrolling Instagram during breakfast and now they're coming in taking screenshots of what they like, what they want to shoot next. We're beaming them up to the Promethean and we're drawing all over those photos and figuring out where the light's coming from um, uh, and making, making these photos real. Not, not so much. It, it, aside from like the camera gear and the, the, the traditional computers and the Promethean, we're, we're not a, like, um, we don't have a lot of devices. Like we don't, don't have an iPad per student kind. We're not that kind of school. Uh, but I've seen more iPads sleek, sneak into the room. Yeah, with this here. Um, Maddie brings her iPad Pro in to do a lot more of her editing in, which she can, you know, tether live I to. I like that with the active car. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and the, the weird thing was we used to, when we were trying to share our photos, we'd probably upload them to a communal Facebook group or they'd email me and I'd download them and we'd look at them on the overhead. Um, what, I, what blew me away, I know I'm going way off track, um, but when I just said to the students, guys, can you just get these photos on your phone and then we will look at them together on the big screen. Um, that was a very natural, intuitive process for a, a young learner and that kind of, I was expecting there to be more hiccups in that process, but there weren't. I didn't give them, I, I had a little test and I just sort of said, I'll see how far they get on their own. 
And on the first day of class, I said, can you guys just whack those photos onto your phones and we'll, we'll beam them up. And I, it, they didn't need any help from me. Like that's just, that's just life now. So it's nice to be able to bring that into the classroom. Yeah, I, 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 I rate it. I reckon that's the perfect teacher tool, um, certainly from a photography teacher's point of view. Um, I've heard, heard similar stuff from like primary educators and those sorts of things. We're all, if you're lucky enough to get your hands on one, you're in love with it. Yeah, yeah.